Okay, we're going to reshoot this video of the uh, G4-32 Zanesville Shepherd Flask. And boy, I looked at it and it was like, whoa! This orange, um, this is what a camera uh, really freaks out over because it is orange and it's been leaning toward taking some regular amber orange pieces and just going crazy with it. Anyway, um, nice example. Obviously it's orange. This is more like it. And it's got the pontil mark. Kind of a crazy pontil mark too. It's all over the bottom. They got some glass in there. Very crude. So uh, we got really nice embossing on the bottom. It's not bad. These things are really noted for being uh, pretty nasty. We embossed. It's a little light on the Zanesville part of it. And I'll try and get that a little bit better so you can see exactly. Not too bad. Uh, the eagle is... The eagle has landed. And it's got a lot of relief. Um... The Masonic side with the sheaf of wheat and other gardening tools. It's pretty good. It's got the sheared lip. Perfect condition. I know you guys don't miss anything, so we'll try and accommodate. vast audience of collectors that know a lot more than I do. This has the backward S. I don't think that was ever fixed. So all these have the backward S. But just a nice example. Whether this was clean, I don't know. It's a little shiny, but um, it could have just been in an attic or something, and, uh, we've, we've really looked at it and can't see any markings like where it was smoothed out. So, we're just going to say it is what it is. And, if you don't have this color, I know they come in all kinds of wonderful colors. So, this is a little better than normal, maybe. The Zanesville G4-32. Flask. A good old Ohio piece. And just to make sure you know what you're going to see on your shelf, that's it. Alright. Right.